again, boys and girls. We are back again to talk about the reading strategy of asking questions and answering them. So, our number one thing before we get started is to ask questions so then we can start thinking about where we're going to find the answers to those, which we did on our lesson previously, the who, where, what, and why. So today, we're going to read through the book, but as we read, we can either just read the book from start to finish and enjoy it and ask questions at the end, or we can stop in the middle of the story and ask questions to see if we can find the answers. But I hope you enjoy our story, The Ugly Duckling, retold by Brenda Parks and Judith Smith. Those are our authors and it's illustrated by Jacqueline Rogers. That is our illustrator. Here is our title page, The Ugly Duckling. Once upon a time, a duck sat on a nest of eggs. Day after day, she sat and sat until the eggs began to crack. Out came five little ducklings. They were all fluffy and yellow. One egg was left in the nest. Then that egg cracked too. Out popped a big gray duckling. Who are you? asked the mother duck. Go away, go away, you're ugly, chirped the five yellow ducklings. So my question that I'm gonna stop and ask myself is how would I feel if others told me that? If others around me told me that I was ugly and to go away, how would that make me feel? I'd, I'd feel pretty sad, I think. And I don't think that's being very friendly of the ducks that are around him. What would you do if that happened to you? Every day, the ugly duckling grew bigger and bigger and uglier and uglier. The other ducks came to look at him. You are ugly, they said. The ugly duckling grew very sad. No one wants me, he said as he swam in the river. The other ducklings teased him. The big ducks pecked at him. And the ugly duckling grew sadder and sadder. So, I would stop and ask another question here. What would you do if people were being mean to you? Would you turn around and tell them that they were hurting your feelings? Would you run away? These are all questions that help me understand and comprehend what I'm reading. No one wants me, thought the ugly duckling. I'm going to run away. So he swam sadly off down the river. After a long time, he met some wild ducks. They looked at him and said, my, you are ugly. Then the wild ducks flew away. They left the ugly duckling all alone. Each day, the winds grew colder, the leaves fell off the trees, and then it started to snow. The poor, ugly duckling swam alone in the river. Then the river turned to ice. It was winter. The ugly duckling hid among the reeds. He was cold and hungry, and he was all alone. After a long time, the ice began to melt. The trees put on leaves, the sun shone, the sky was blue, and the birds began to sing. Slowly, the duckling ruffled his feathers. 
He walked down to the river, he slid into the water, and he began to swim. Then he looked down at the water. To his amazement, he saw a beautiful bird with a long, long neck. Who is that? asked the ugly duckling. Suddenly, he heard a flapping of wings. He looked up and saw other birds. They were like the bird in the water, and they were beautiful too. The beautiful birds landed in the water. They swam around the duckling and they began to stroke him. Who are you? asked the ugly duckling. We're swans like you, they replied. So if you stopped here and asked a question, like what would you do if new friends came up and tried talking to you? Would you try having a conversation with them? Or would you run away? I think I would try and make new friends. But I am an ugly duckling, he said. Look at yourself, said the swans. And the duckling looked and he looked. ugly duckling was not an ugly duckling anymore. He was a beautiful swan. I am a swan like you, he said. I've found my very own family. And he lived happily ever after. The story of the ugly duckling he wasn't an ugly duckling at all. He was quite an amazing animal. And I think that should be what we try and do this year is to make friends with all of each other so we don't judge people by how we look on the outside because on the inside, we can all be very beautiful people. Thank you. Talk to you later.